Okay, so now we're going to go to the inside of the brochure. Again, the first thing we need to do is add your words. So it'll be your history. So you're going to draw a text box. Now what you can do is you can draw a text box and create your headlines or your, um, your titles. You can do that first and then add more text boxes for your actual words. So the first thing is history. I'm all about work smarter, not harder. So I'm gonna make this one in the font that I want and everything. Um, mm, or if you want, I'm gonna get rid of this. I can go to the front and just copy this. Remember to click it twice, copy, and then paste. And then move this over here. And this is going to say history. Okay, and then paste. And then that ain't it. Remember, click and click again. And then you can move it. Learn from my mistakes, please. So then you're going to write mission statement. Now your font is going to need to be much smaller because the word mission statement is small. I mean, it's, it's a lot. M-I-S-S-I-O-N-S-T-A-T-E-M-E-N-T. -S -S -E -E okay. Now, it, it looks too dark. I don't like that, so... No, I accidentally filled the box. Anyway, okay. I'm going to see if I can make it a little bigger. There we go. Okay, paste. The other thing is... Um activities please spell it correctly next we have accomplishments Okay, so the font is too big, we gotta make it smaller. There we go. And then, now we're gonna put our chart here. And if you want, you can put free time. That's what the chart is gonna say. These are not even, so I wanna make them even. Again, use your guides, your red guides, to make it even. There we go. And the last one is goals. I like for everything to be coordinating. Remember, you gotta click your box twice if you wanna move it. Click, click, click. Okay, so next, you need to, again, insert another text box. Everything has to have, a te have, to have a text box. So, um, So 
So then you're going to, whatever you wrote on your um, rough draft, then you just type it out. Please get your spelling and everything correct. And when you type, um, it's two spaces after the, um, this is so small I can't read it. I gotta make it bigger. But really you won't adjust the font size until you get done typing because you don't want to run out of room. It says, my name is Crystal, I mean, Coach Walker, and I am from Raywood, Texas. I grew up with six brothers. Um, my, uh, both of my parents are Louisiana Creole. And uh, my mom, comma, Carolyn, Smoky Hush, is from Barrett Station, Texas, and my dad was also born and raised in Raywood. And then you put the rest of everything else that's required on there. Um, and then once you're done, you highlight it and you make sure you go to the home and you, and you uh, justify the columns like that so it straightens it out looks nice and neat okay so you should fill that up okay I don't know where this came from but it's supposed to be activity so I don't know what happened to that okay so again you insert your text box Everything has a text box. And you type in your activities. And then here, so if I play, I play, uh, it's on, sorry, it's on caps. I played um, volleyball, basketball, and track in high school. I played college uh, basketball. But let me go back because I also did, I also did theater and UIL prose reading and then I played college basketball I guess that's enough for activities you so you want to make it bigger so that I can read it And then again, you want to make it justify it. Now you can make your uh, things bigger so you have more room. Anyway, so you get the idea. And then you can add insert online. I will add basketball
Just pick one. Okay, so. And then I'll insert a volleyball. Ooh, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna add a volleyball. Now, as you can see, this one is white and it has this little thing, so I wanna crop this off. Click away. I wanna recolor, set transparent and I click on the white part. Now it is transparent, just like my basketball. You wanna make the same size. Uh, and I also did theater. So I'm gonna insert online. Theater. Again, you go to, it's already clicked, so you don't need to click on it. Go to recolor, click set transparent, and then click on that, and now it's transparent. Same size. I think I'll put this in the middle. Okay, now same thing you do with goals. Now let's just add our, we're almost done people, I promise. Let's just add the chart. So you go to insert and you click pictures. And you find your logo and chart. Here's my chart. I click on it. Now, you see it has free time, and um, but you can just get rid of it. How do we do it? We crop it. So I'll just crop that. Now let's see if this works with the chart. So we'll click on it. Recolor. I don't know if this is going to work. Set to transparent, and then click on it. Yeah, booyah, it worked. So then I put my chart here. This is what I do in my free time. Turn it off, son. Okay. You see why we tried to make it as big as we could? Because it's hard to see on the chart. We wanna be able to read that. I'm gonna crop this because I could see a little bit of white. See when I click, you see that white right there? I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna crop that off. I'm just a little picky crop. Okay, now looks beautiful. And then I put our, my goals, if you wanna put, you know, what school. So I would find the emblem for Prairie View and put it, and then there we go, there's our I think and I would put more pictures in there of my family, especially I have an older picture. Remember I told you you could put a um, baby picture if you wanted. I don't know where my baby pictures are, so I'm just going to put. Pictures for brochure, here we go. 
So this is an older picture of me and my family. As you can see the kids look little and cute. Crop it a little, even though it was taken almost perfectly. My nephew took it. Uh, so what do we do with pictures? You do that and then you put a border, make it smaller. Now I would have to do a, another caption, but you already have one done. So you go to the front, just copy the caption and you paste it here. No need to just redo everything. When you have it already, all you have to do is copy and paste it. And then I'm going to put um, the family, because you've already introduced the family, or you could say me and my family. Uh, and then you put the year. You put the year. Uh, Christmas time. And then whenever the year is. Again, this border's too thick, so I'm going to, I don't know, make it thinner. Shape, outline, go to weight, and thinner, and there it is. This one, too, I think it's too. But that's, like I said, my own particular, but I don't want, I don't want thick borders like that. I don't like that. It just takes away from the picture. So make sure it's thin. And then you add more pictures in. Uh, so this is pretty much done. And I did it like, it took me, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. So it shouldn't take you that long. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this project. Bye-bye.